Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about game-changing products that are at Sephora. The Sephora VIB sale is coming up this weekend and so I thought it would be the perfect time to kind of give you guys a few of my recommendations. I love watching other people's Sephora VIB sale recommendations and instead of going through like category by category and giving you one recommendation of a specific product in a category that I like, I feel like it would be more fun for me to gather my top-notch favorite products that I feel like are truly game changers. These things have transformed my skin, they've transformed my makeup, and I also feel like these are all things that would fit into anybody's routine. No matter how much you love makeup or no matter how much makeup you wear, I feel like these are all very universal and I'm super excited to share them with you guys because I stand behind these a thousand percent. As you guys know, there's a lot going on in the world, so I wanted to make sure to kind of give a disclaimer. Please do not feel like you have to run out and purchase something during this sale. You can always, always, always hold off. These products will be here for a long time, so I just wanted to make that disclaimer because I know so many of us are in a different position in so many ways than we used to be a couple of months ago, so I just wanted to put that out there. But I also understand that now is kind of a fun time to pamper yourself as you're staying home, and so there's also some products that I put in here that I truly feel like are worth every single penny. I would honestly purchase all of these things full price, but since the sale is coming up, I felt like it'd be a nice time to share all of these with you guys in case you want to save a little bit of money on them. So all the information on the actual sale will be um, in the description box. You can get 10 to 28% off depending on what status you are at Sephora. So again, all that info will be in the description box. Okay, enough blabbing. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm actually going to start start off with some skincare favorites because I feel like for me right now, I have been so into skincare. I always have been and you guys probably know I've had quite a long skincare journey. Um, I struggle with breakouts and hyperpigmentation and during these past few weeks staying home, I have really, really enjoyed treating my skin a little bit extra and also I've been going more days without makeup to kind of give my skin a break and I feel like it's really helped. So I want to share three skincare items that are just so top notch guys. I cannot say enough good things about these. I know I've talked about all three of them before, but I wanted to kind of mention them one more time. The first thing is this Ulla Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. This is one of the most incredible face masks that I have ever tried. It has such a unique formula to it. When I first tried it, actually, it didn't really dry down. So in my mind, I almost thought that it wouldn't be effective, but it is so incredibly effective. It has almost like a bubblegum pink color, scent, and also texture. It has a very sticky texture to it. The thing I love about this is it has PHAs and also AHAs in it. So it's going to exfoliate, but there's also like, I think there's clay in here. So basically it helps to exfoliate, but also draws out impurities. This is one of the best products for smoothing out texture in the skin, and it's just the best. All you do is put a couple pumps on your fingers, you massage it into your face, and it turns from pink to white, and then you let it sit for um, 15 minutes, and then you can just wipe it off, and you can actually apply makeup right after, and your skin will be super smooth and plump as well, but you can also use it at night and just follow it with your normal skincare routine, but you guys, this is definitely a game-changing product in my opinion. I love it and I cannot get enough of it. I actually might pick up another one because I am almost out of this. Which reminds me, you guys, I will also mention at the end the things that I am personally eyeing just in case you've heard me talk about these things before. Maybe you've tried a lot of these things. So I will tell you guys what I'm personally looking at buying at the end. Okay, I have another face mask. Actually, all three of these are face masks. I just personally feel like face masks are so worth the investment. And these three really do make such a difference in my skin. This one I've talked about before as well. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. The thing I love about this the most is it smells like a pumpkin pie. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I really wish you could smell it through the camera. It has the coolest like jelly texture with a little bit of exfoliating beads. They're not too harsh though. A little bit goes a very long way. I've used this so much and I'm only this far down. So it really is worth every penny. I do feel like you don't need to pile on a ton of it like you would another mask because this is more of a light exfoliating mask. So this is a three-in-one um, resurfacing mask, but it's not too harsh. You definitely do feel it working and you definitely see results after. But honestly, you guys, it's just the most incredible mask. This is also really great for evening out texture. I've noticed an improvement in brightness in my skin as well. It's just incredible. My skin loves this mask. Every time I use it, I usually use it at night and the next morning, my skin looks amazing. 
amazing. I love that mask. Um, the third one I just recently shared with you guys in my last favorites video, but it is so good and I have continued to use it. And every time I use it, my skin gets better and better. I'm so excited about this mask, you guys. I think everybody needs to try it, especially if you have dry skin or if you struggle with hyperpigmentation or redness. This is incredible. This is the Laneige Sika Sleeping Mask. So you apply this at the very end of your skincare routine, which is really nice because I feel like it's a nice thing to add to your skincare routine. You don't have to switch it out for something else. So you just put a little bit all over the face as your last step and you just go to sleep. And honestly, my skin has been so much more hydrated, so much more um, even toned, which is something that I struggle with and just overall better. And I swear it's because of this. I have been obviously taking really good care of my skin um, while being at home, like I said, but I do notice a massive difference when I use this. So I wanted to make sure to put an emphasis on those three skincare items. If you're looking to pick up just one of these, maybe, I would say the Uller Henriksen um, Fat Glow Facial is great if you have blemishes and you would like to even out skin tone and also kind of improve the plumpness of your skin. If you want a really smooth and gently exfoliated complexion that just makes your skin look glowy and incredible, then the Peter Thomas Roth one is what I would go for. If you have dry skin or sensitive skin and you're looking to improve redness, I would go for this one. Again, all three of them work for me. I'm trying to tackle all of those things, so I love those masks. Okay, you can tell I'm very passionate about those three products. Let's move into makeup. I really wanted to make sure to put together products that, again, I feel like are such game changers and I feel like so many people would enjoy no matter how much makeup you wear or don't wear. So I felt like this would be an appropriate kind of a product to put in this video because it's just so good. This is not a new product by any means, but if you have not tried this yet, it is incredible. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I wear mine in the shade 2 Light. This is such a beautiful product. You can wear it underneath foundation, you can wear it alone, you can mix it into foundation, and you can also apply it over top of foundation or whatever you're wearing, tinted moisturizer or whatever, as your highlighter. And it's gonna look so, so healthy and glowy and radiant, you guys. This is an incredible product. This is something that I feel like everybody needs. I feel like it would work for all different skin types even if you have oily skin and you're not really into too glowy of products this on the outer portions of the face still looks beautiful you would just want to obviously avoid maybe the t-zone to avoid looking too oily this is overall such a beautiful product so i would highly recommend checking this out if you have not yet I actually have some powders that I wanted to talk about. These, in my opinion, are worth every single penny, and I feel like they really are, again, something that's adding to my collection, something that makes me really happy, something that solves my problems. Anyway, this is the first one. This is the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. So I picked up the shade Light, and it's this really, really white powder. I actually am thinking of picking up the medium shade just because it's a little bit closer to my skin tone, just for if I wanna use it on the face and kind of have that same blurring effect without actually brightening. But this is beautiful for underneath the eyes. Let me go ahead and apply a little bit more for you so you can see what I'm talking about. This makes the under eyes look so incredibly smooth. Again, this shade, if you have a fair or light skin tone, it's gonna to really help brighten the under eye area but it's so finely milled and it has a little bit of a baked formula that it just smooths everything out. It sets the concealer so nicely. It smooths everything out so beautifully and it has a little bit of an iridescence to it so it doesn't leave your under eyes looking dry or heavy. I'm obsessed with this. Um, this is definitely something that's newer to my collection, but the formula is just so incredible. I wanted to make sure to put it in this video if you're looking for something that's gonna really kind of brighten up and smooth the under eye area. It's so good, you guys. Um, the second powder that I wanted to share with you is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. This is something that I originally used all over the face because it's a really quick powder foundation. It works incredibly well just to like smooth and mattify the skin. If you have oily skin, I feel like you might really enjoy this, especially if you need a little bit more of a full coverage. It really is good all over the face. However, the thing that I have been using it for more than just an all over foundation is one, to cover up blemishes that are so stubborn that even like concealer and powder don't solve it. And two, I love to use this as a touch up powder. It adds a little bit of coverage to any areas that are losing coverage throughout the day. And I guess three, you know, I guess there's three things I like to use this for. I also think it's beautiful in the center of the face after I've done, 
you know, my other complexion products. I love to just pat this in the areas where I want a little bit more smoothing. I'll actually show you with this. This is a lighter shade. I use two shades. This is Y215. And I use another shade. I'll have the shade listed down below. The other shade matches my blemishes more. But I like to take this and say I wanted a little bit of blurring right here in this area or mattifying. It honestly does both so well. I will just go ahead and press that right here over top of large pores. And I feel like it blends everything out so beautifully. You can also use this to kind of brighten and tighten this area here. When I say tighten, I mean like the, the illusion of kind of bringing this in. You can kind of pat it here and it will just bring everything together. So I do like to use it as kind of a reverse contour powder um, over blemishes, like I said. I love to use it to blur the T-zone. It's just an overall really great powder that has so many functions in my routine that I feel like it's a really good thing to have in your kit. It is more full coverage, so if you're someone who doesn't really like to wear base products at all. I don't know if you would have as much use for this as I personally do, but if you like a more full coverage foundation or product like that, if you like to have a little bit more of a contoured highlighted look, this is beautiful. It doesn't look heavy on the skin. It honestly looks flawless. So I wanted to share that with you as well. Okay, I have some blushes I wanna share with you guys. I have powder blushes and cream blushes that I've been so into. It's kind of interesting because I've recently been really into cream products, which was not like me in the past because I always felt like cream products in my mind didn't really last as well as powder products, which is true, but for some reason now, I'm really enjoying using cream products to just kind of make my skin look more fresh, especially since I've been more skin focused and I feel like my skincare routine is pretty good. So I wanna kind of enhance the health of my skin by using cream products, or at least the look of it. So I wanted to make sure to mention two blushes from Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta is one of my favorite brands. Everything that they launch is so incredible, but these powder blushes are truly game changers in my opinion, just because I get so much use out of them. The color, the tone, the formula, Oh, it's just all so good. So these are the two that I own. I might pick up another one, I don't know. I have so many things that are on my wish list and I'm just gonna have to go through and really make sure that what I pick up I could actually use because I really do wanna make sure I'm going through all my blushes and I have a lot of them. But these blushes are so beautiful. This one is more peachy, it's called She's Sincere. It's beautiful if you love, um, obviously more of a warm peach undertone. This one right here is called She's Seductive and it's one of the most unique blush colors I've ever owned. It looks extremely dark in the pan, but even on my skin tone, I feel like these formulas are very buildable, so you don't need to worry about going overboard, but you can still build them up to have a pretty high intensity if that's the look you're going for. These two shades are incredible. I love them so much. I love this one for more of like a sun-kissed, toasted kind of a look. And I love this one for more of a fresh look. I will actually layer the two as well. I'll do this one more on the back parts of the cheeks and then put this one more on the front. They're so beautiful, I love them. I definitely feel like I might um, look at picking up the other two shades or maybe one of the other two just because I'm obsessed with the formula and I have gotten so much use out of them. So the cream blushes that I wanted to share with you guys are some that I actually like had heard about for a while and I was always intrigued by, but like I said before, I hadn't really gotten into cream products as much as I have been recently and I just can't get enough of these. I think they're incredible. They're so good for both glam looks and also for more everyday looks so I get a ton of use out of them. Um, they're from Kosas. These are their color and light cream cheek palettes. So you get a um, cream blush and a highlighter in each of these palettes. This one right here is Velvet Melon and this one right here is Eighth Muse. These are what I have on my face. I'm actually wearing um, Velvet Melon. After putting the powder on, I feel like I lost some of that um, color in the T-zone here, but I will add a little bit more for you. You can use a sponge or a brush or your fingers. I honestly use all three just depending on what is most convenient for me, but I'll go ahead and layer up a little bit more so you can see the tone of this. I love this color so much. It's just a beautiful, light, peachy color. So if you're somebody who doesn't really like too much color on the cheeks, but you like a little bit just to look healthy, I definitely feel like this shade right here, um, Velvet Melon, would be a good one. Um, I'm also wearing the Velvet Melon highlighter today, which I love. And then the 8th Muse shade is such a beautiful, purple. It looks kind of intimidating in the pan, but on the cheeks, it's so nice. I actually used this in an Instagram um, tutorial that I did. It's on my stories, so I will have that linked for you guys if you want to see this in action. 
Both are so beautiful. If you're someone who's into cream blushes, this would definitely be one that I would recommend. Or if you're somebody who likes more of that no makeup makeup natural look, this is also something I would recommend. But again, if you're somebody who is a makeup lover in general, I still use them in more glam situations and they work beautifully. Okay, next I wanted to share the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I have like one squirt left of this. It is my favorite, you guys. This I've talked about so many times, but again, in this video when I was coming up with products that I really felt like made a difference, this came to mind immediately. It is so beautiful, you guys. This leaves your skin looking so dewy and fresh, but never greasy or overly oily. I definitely do feel like it's a hydrating um, setting spray, so if you do have oily skin, you might want to avoid this or at least avoid the areas that you do get oily. So for me, I tend to get oily in the T-zone, so I'll go ahead and spray it on the outer portions of the face mainly. I don't mind if a little gets in the center of the face. I don't know what magic is in here. It is like sorcery. It's a magic sauce. I love it so much. Again, this is a product that I feel like would work for anybody no matter how much makeup you wear. It is such an incredible product that absolutely changes your foundation game. It changes your makeup game. I can't say enough good things about it. It's my absolute favorite. You guys know I've been talking about this for a while now, but I wanted to mention it here in case you're looking for something that will really help you with your eyeshadow application. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I use the shade Light. I love the tinted ones because it kind of acts like a concealer and an eyeshadow primer all at once. For some reason, I used to not be into eyeshadow primers. I would always just conceal the eyelids with whatever concealer I was using. And then I started to use this and it really, really helps with everything. It helps with the longevity of my eyeshadow. It also helps kind of blend things out nicely. So if you're looking for a way to kind of up your eyeshadow game, look no further. This is worth every penny in my opinion. It is such an incredible product. Okay, so last but not least, I have a ton of lip products that I wanted to share with you guys. These are things that live in my purse. And again, I feel like it's something that you could wear when you're wearing no makeup at all. Well, at least a couple of these, in my opinion. Or you can really amp them up and add them into a glam look. So the, I'm wearing all these products on my lips today. The first one is this lip liner from Melt Cosmetics. I initially learned about this from one of my favorite makeup artists on Instagram. Her name is Nikki Makeup, and she used this in several tutorials in a row. And initially, looking at the color, I thought to myself that I wouldn't really get too much use out of it. Um, this is in the shade Foxy. Sorry, there's a little cream blush on my hand still. But it's this color right here. And initially I thought, okay, that's a little bit too grungy for me. I don't know if I'll get too much use out of that, but I was so wrong. I'm actually wearing it right now. The thing I love about this lip liner is it's like a chameleon. It will match any lipstick that you put on it. And I'm not saying like match as in the actual color, but it makes it blend into your skin like no other shade of lip liner does for me. It just makes everything look natural. I can wear it by itself and it will look like a 90s grungy lip. I can pair it with a hot pink lipstick and somehow the edges blend into it. I can go nude, I can just do like a rosy pink and it blends into it. I feel like I've gotten so much use out of this since purchasing it. The formula is beautiful as well. It blends out beautifully, but it's not um, too creamy. It's just the best kind of a consistency for a lip liner and I'm obsessed with it. I really feel like it's something that's underrated and I have enjoyed it so much. Next, I wanna share with you guys the NARS um, Afterglow Lip Balms. I own all these shades because they were sent to me, but these two are the ones that I get the most use out of. I honestly love all the shades, but to kind of narrow it down a little bit, I love the shade Fastlane. I'm actually wearing Fastlane today over top of the Melt Cosmetics lip liner. It's so hard to tell because they are a tinted lip balm, but they're just so easy to apply when you're on the go. The other shade I love is this one right here called Dolce Vita, which is a little bit more of like a rosy purple. Here's what they look like next to each other. So you guys can see they're similar, but they're different, okay? This one definitely has a little bit more color to it, or this one's more nude in my opinion. Oh, these are just so good, you guys. I'm obsessed with them. They live in my purse. I feel like they add just the right amount of color, just the right amount of hydration, just the right amount of shine without feeling sticky. And it's something that's so foolproof that I've even applied these without looking in a mirror and it always looks good. It's just one of those products that I can't get enough of. I would recommend to literally everybody, even someone who doesn't like to wear makeup. I feel like these would be something that I would still recommend to someone like that. They're 
just so good. Okay, next I have these Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Glosses. These right here are so good, you guys. They are so good. I love the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lipsticks. I actually talked about those in my last year's Sephora recommendation video, which by the way, I will link that down below because in that video I went through the entire video doing a full face of products that I recommend at Sephora. So if there's a category of something that you're looking to pick up that I didn't have something to share with you in this video, I don't know if that made sense, but basically if you're looking for like a concealer that I would recommend, I will have that down below. Um, but these you guys, oh my gosh, they're so good. These are definitely my top three shades. I do have like a number one, um, but this one right here is what I have layered on top of the lip liner and then the Fastlane NARS um, lip balm. This lip combo, first of all, I'm obsessed with, but this is such a beautiful shade. This is called Sweet Talk. The second one that I get a ton of use out of is called New Romantic. This is definitely one that I feel like is my most used. It kind of creates this color that's on my lips, but it's like a one and done deal. I love how these are super hydrating. They have just the right amount of color. They're not super, super pigmented, but I actually like that. It makes it great for layering or for wearing on its own if you want more of just like a sheer tint to the lips. And then the third one I get a lot of use out of is this one right here called Force of Nature. It's just slightly deeper and it's just for when I want my lips to have a little bit more definition, but it still has a really natural undertone. So again, I feel like all three work for no makeup makeup days, but also I can kind of bump them up and layer them on top of lip liners and lipsticks for more of a glam look. So I'm obsessed with this formula. I think everybody needs to try it. Um, last but not least for recommendations, I am obsessed with the Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. I own all of the flavors, but my personal favorite is definitely Grapefruit. This doesn't have too much color in it. It has a little bit. It has a tiny, tiny pink tint to it, but it's definitely more of just like a hydrating lip balm, something that I love to just keep in my purse and something that I feel like is worth trying if you haven't yet and also worth stocking up on if you've already tried it and if you enjoy it as much as I do. So those are the things that I truly feel like are game changers in my opinion. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to comment that down below. Um, before I end the video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I have been personally eyeing. There's a lot that's launching. So again, this is just kind of things that I'm looking at. I probably won't end up buying all of these things, but these are just kind of things that I'm going to be sorting out in my mind as, you know, the sale approaches. So the first thing is the Patrick Ta brow products. I'll put them right here. Um, these brow products are supposed to be similar to soap brows where you spray a setting spray into the pan and use the spoolie to comb up your brows and it's supposed to give them like that soap brow effect. Again, I love Patrick Ta products so I have been eyeing these and they actually launch on the day that the VIB Rouge sale starts. So I've got my eye on that. I also have my eye on the Kosas Baked Bronzers which I couldn't wait for the sale, you guys. I ended up buying this last night because it just looks like something that is totally my speed. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I already bought that, but anyway, I was eyeing it, but I just couldn't wait for the sale. Um, I'm also eyeing the Kosas Concealer. I've heard kind of in between things about it, but it has great reviews and I really wanna try it. I've become a pretty big fan of Kosas, especially after these blush duos, so I have my eye on that. I also have my eye on the Tower 28 Cream Blush in the shade Magic Hour, I believe. I've seen like three or four makeup artists that I follow on Instagram all use this blush over the past like week or so and it's just kind of caught my interest. So I have my eye on that. We'll see if I end up picking it up or not. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the Fenty Cream Bronzers and Blushes are also supposed to launch on the same day that the sale starts for VIB Rouge members, so I might. Um, I also, let me see, let me pull up my app really quick. Oh, I really wanna try the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. It has incredible reviews, so I think I'll pick that up actually. And then also, I kind of have my eye on the Jouer Bronzer Duo, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick that up yet because I just bought the Kosas Bronzer, so we'll see. But those are the things that I kind of have saved to my loves list. Um, again, I won't be buying every single one, but it's my favorite thing in the world to like put everything possible in my cart and then like go through it mentally and say, okay, I'll save that for later, I'll save that for later until I'm down to like two things and then I end up making my purchase. So we'll see what I end up picking up. If you guys have any things that you have really been enjoying that you think I should pick up during the sale, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you guys think I should pick up and also what you guys are interested 
interested in picking up if you are going to be shopping the sale. So be sure to leave that in the comments below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I really tried my hardest to narrow these things down to things that I truly feel like are game changers, that I feel like are worth every penny, whether there's a sale or not, or whether you purchase them now or down the road. They're just good all around. I feel like they're timeless. They're incredible. So I really hope you guys found this helpful. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Thanks again, you guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys stay healthy and stay safe and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye.